Hi there, I'm Shari Kornstein. I'm a certified image professional and owner of Image Design LLC. I help business people, both men and women, build their wardrobe so it's flattering, comfortable, and consistent with what they want to accomplish in the workplace and with their own personality. Today, I'm going to be talking about professional dress do's and don'ts. The first do that I want to talk about is always having on a tailored piece in your outfit. For example, what I have on today includes a blouse and my tailored piece is a pencil skirt. This is basically a business casual outfit. If I wanted to go up to the next level of business dress and be more professional dress or business formal, I could add another tailored piece, which would be a jacket. Specifically, it is a black jacket. What you don't want to do with your business wardrobe is wear pieces that are baggy, unstructured, not tailored, for example, this is a bomber jacket. I wear it on the weekends. It's not structured and it's not tailored. It's just a little slightly loose, loose baggy fit. It's not something that you want to wear for work. What you can do with your business wardrobe is add contrast. I always like to have some contrast in my outfit. For example, if I try on a white jacket rather than a black one, you'll see that there's a lot of contrast between my black blouse, black skirt, and white jacket. What contrast does is it allows the person that you're speaking with to focus on you. They will listen to your message and they'll be able to focus on your features. Now, high contrast can also be achieved by wearing a light colored blouse or shirt with a dark jacket or sweater or some other type of clothing that is not the same color. You can achieve contrast as well by wearing a bright color with a darker color. For example, this particular jacket is not your typical business color. It's a bright pink, but since it's a tailored piece, I can wear it for business to achieve a high contrast look. You don't want to be wearing designer clothes into the office. Even if you're lucky enough to have Gucci, Chanel, Dior, or Louis Vuitton in your wardrobe, wearing them to work is not the right way to go about things. This will come across as showy and ostentatious. Similarly, you don't want to wear something that has a big pattern and or any type of logo. We all know the different neutrals that are suggested for business clothes. Blue, black, gray, sometimes brown, white, or tan. My suggestion is to wear not the darkest shade of these neutrals, but to vary it. For example, if you wanted to wear a blue shirt, you could try a lighter blue shirt, or you could do a medium blue shirt. Finally, the last don't, and in my mind, this is the most important. Don't wear anything that's not comfortable for you. Whether something is physically uncomfortable, being that it's itchy, tight, too heavy, too warm, or pulling in some area, you need to feel physically comfortable as you're going about your day. Similarly, don't wear anything that feels psychologically uncomfortable. If you try something on and it doesn't feel as if it reflects your values, your goals, or your personality, it's something that should be taken out of your wardrobe. Whether you go shopping by yourself, with your spouse or significant other, and or a shopping professional like myself, anything you buy should be something that's comfortable, flattering, and consistent with the messages that you want to send. Thank you so much for watching this video on business dress do's and don'ts. I'm Sharon Kornstein, and you can find me online at imagedesignconsulting.com. I'm also on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. The links are below in the description bar. Thank you.